Over the last couple of years, support has been added for a new method on the object. So this is a static method that is added directly on object called has own. Now this new method is a replacement for the existing has own property method. So we're going to talk about how it works and we're going to talk about why this was added and what the problems were with the object prototype has own property that this solves. All right, so I have an object here and I want to know whether or not this object has a property called Fred. So to do that with the new method, quite simple, we start with object. Now this is the word object with a capital O. This is where you will find the has own method. Inside of here, there's two parameters. One is what's the object that you're testing? The second one, what's the name of the property you're looking for? So I'm going to say this, I want my obj and Fred. Does this thing have it? Okay, so we'll log that out. We'll test this over here. So we'll use Node. And this has been added to all the main browsers as well as Node in the last, uh, since 2021. 2021, 2022, in there it was added to everywhere. Okay, uh, so we're running hasown.js. True, okay. So we've run this test. Inside of this object, we do have this property. And it's not that it's on the prototype chain, it's not somewhere way up, but it's got its own property called Fred. Okay, fair enough. So at this point you'd say, well, what's the big deal? I can do that with the old method. And that's true, we can. So the old method you would pass in, or you would start with rather, the object that you're testing for, and then has own property, and the name of the one that you're looking for. So Fred. All right, so we test this, we run it again. Both of them work. Okay, so we can see that it's doing the same thing, generally speaking. The problem is that, let me comment these out. The problem is that over the last five to eight years, a lot of people were using this method to create their objects. So I say, okay, I want to build an object, fine. When you create the object, the first parameter or the parameter that you pass into here is what do you want to use as the prototype? And if you don't have something you want to use as the prototype, you're saying, no, okay, no, I'm just building an object. I don't need a prototype. So no, this is very common to do. So if that's the case, if we look at the prototype for our new object that we've built. undefined. So null, that's the top of the prototype chain. There is no prototype object for this. There was no constructor object with a prototype because we're saying the thing above it is null. There's nothing above there. So I cannot use the has own property on this object to find if I've got a property because the prototype is null we look at another object here. I'll use an object literal and we go object under proto, write that out and we can see the difference. So one is undefined, the other one, yeah, okay. So this object has a prototype. So what is the point that I'm trying to make here? The point is, if you don't have a prototype, it means you don't have this method. This method exists on the object prototype. And if you said null, you have lost this method. So it's not there. You can't use it. I cannot, let's comment these out again. I cannot do this. I can't say uh, OC dot has own property and we'll pass in you know, it's not going to have that, but you know, I want a true or false to know if this thing has its own property called that. No, it's not a function. Has own property is not a function because OC doesn't have a prototype, which means it doesn't go to the object prototype, which is what we are looking at right here. The object prototype is where you will find this thing. So we don't have it. So this one fails, but that is solved by using the new one. 
So object has own, and I can say, hey, does this thing have a property called Fred? Expecting to get a true or false answer, and the answer is false. It doesn't have that property. Not an error, but an actual Boolean value. So it solves the problem of there being no prototype because it's a static method on object. So it's always going to be there. You will always be able to access object inside of your JavaScript. Another problem that it solves is what if somebody actually created an object and inside that object, they said, hey, I'm going to create a method inside of here called has own property. Cool. And this one's going to return false all the time. All right, so I have an object that I've built myself, and inside my object is a method called has own property. Well, this is an object literal, which means its prototype is going to be the object prototype, which means this is in the object prototype, and I do have access to that. So I could, in theory, say this. I could say, okay, an obj, I will go to my prototype, which is the object prototype, and from there I can call has own property. So that's going to work, but who is going to think that they need to do this, or who is going to want to do this to get to this property? I cannot use the prototype chain for what it's designed for, which is to look and see, hey, do you have a property inside of you called Steve? False. But I do have a property called Steve. But because that's what this method returned, that's what's being displayed. I'm never getting to the actual has own property method that is inside the object prototype. It's further up the prototype chain, but this intercepted it. So this prevents looking up the prototype chain. All right. So this final example, if I want to use my brand new method, which is the point of all this, this is why we've created this new one, I can always call object has own because that is a static method on the object object. And when I call it, that will work. Oh, sorry. I forgot the object itself, an object. So inside of an obj, do you have a property called Steve? There, true. Yes, I do. So that is why we have it, and that is what it does. If you want to test inside your object, not somewhere up the prototype chain, but inside the object that you have built, if you want to know if it, ha it has a property, this is the way that you should be doing it now. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.